Hi, this is Ron McTube. Today on Cordova de Angra, we're going after our first diamond fish. So, I've been coming to this lake, and a lot of the content creators know it's an amazing lake. Now, one of the good things about it is the water, as you can see, is gin clear. Um, some people might not know this, but you get lakes and rivers just like this in real life. The good thing is you can see the fish really clearly, so it's good to target them with whatever bait you're going to use, whether it's lures or whether it's just bait on a float. So, I'm going to dive in the boat, have a drive round and see what we can find. Now I've had some big fish here already, some golden trout, rainbow trout, so let's see what we can find, shall we? Are you liking the angler footage? Drop in the comments what you think. I'm having a lot of fun, I really am understand some people in the comments are saying oh this that that the core of it is a lot of fun to play and that's the main thing about it you can tweak things update things do patches and uh, make it better so don't worry too much about it the thing is the main core middle of it is a lot of fun to play so <laughs> i won't go for that one i'm going for that big fat trout and uh, a little greedy perch nailed my spinner bait as I said before in previous videos, the spinner bait is deadly. It really is. If you want to level up, starting out, you ain't got much money. Spinner bait is really good. So can we find anything nice? What I found is you have a look around, get in your boat, drive around a bit more, keep glassing around. If you're wondering why it's this colour, it's because we're in sort of like a volcano hot spring area. So it's sort of like gin blue. Come on, we're gonna find something nice. I've had some absolute monster rainbow trout here. I thought one of them I got earlier was gonna be a diamond and uh, it was massive. You could see it from the other side of the lake. It turned out to be a very high scoring gold. So I haven't had a diamond yet. I'm just hoping this lake produces the goods. Not much here. They can be on the bottom. They can be like middle level. They can be on the top. So you just have to check sometimes you just flick out the lure as I was saying in the other video if you're lure fishing fan techniques very good you start from your left and work your way around just adjust a bit like a clock and then you cover the whole area what was that a small keep going if you want to have good fights on gear make sure you match the gear to the fish you're fishing for I've got really heavy gear on so I can give them some welly and on the small fish I can literally yank them out but that's because I'm going for big fish at the minute so I'm sure many adjustments will come and like I say it's not even out yet that's why so at launch you want key gameplay the core of it to be good and it is fun the exploring element of it is absolutely amazing I was wandering up a mountain river earlier, wild river, just chucking out lure, checking near rocks, catching fish, and um, you can catch really big fish in tiny streams, so don't overlook them just because it's small, and that's what the good thing is, you have to explore to find the hot spots and where the fish are, but there's so many different variations of areas you can fish. You've got wild rivers, you've got tiny streams, you've got waterfall pools, um, all sorts, big giant ponds. What would you like to see added that isn't already added? Now I've already said some of my feedback to Debs on some things I would like to see change. Um, and I'm sure there's many of you that want to see other different things added. So drop in the comments your top three things you want to see happen for Colour Wild that angler. I've got something below me here. He's just sitting on the bottom. I'm going to try and lure him up. I think he is coming for it. Come on. Come on. It's funny when you get a really big fish and you can see it and you keep drawing it by its face. And it sort of like goes for it and then goes off and then goes off and then. But when they dive down, you normally know they're going for it. He's coming, look. <laughs> Is he going to take it? Take it, take it, come on. 
to come in close. Ooh, <laughs> not quite. Right, let's see if we can get him next time. A little cast. Real speed really works, and um, so slowing it down does help, especially with the spinner bait. You've got to really match it to the lure you're fishing. Come on, he's going down, he's going to investigate. So let's see if we can get him. Come on. It's when a just absolute giant comes from nowhere. I think we've got him. Yeah, we have. Like turn round and he's just an absolute monster there. And you've just been sitting watching. So it's a silver. But good for XP and money. Like I say, we'll go over this lake in a minute. But it's very good for XP and money. Like I say, get the spinner bait on. What is that there? Doesn't look like a trap, but it looks decent. So, let's see if we can lure that in. Up to here, I've caught golden trout from here. Rainbow trout. Perch. Uh, I think that's it up to yet. But that doesn't look like a rainbow trout, so... It looks decent, whatever it is. We'll see what it is in a minute, if we can catch it. He's having none of it. Maybe don't like these lures. Are you turning for it? You little git. I don't want you. What is that? A little perch, I think. Not what I wanted. Got monsters swimming around me. And I'm catching the smallest thing in the lake. But it'll do. Can't get the big ones all the time. That's what makes them special. All oh, right. You'll do there. You know what we're going to do is cast way beyond it. And just draw the lure in front of his face. And hopefully we don't get any more small things. Take it before he sees it. But you don't seem to be bothered. It's turning and swimming away. And you'll see them sometimes like sink down to mid level, then the bottom and move about. I'm hoping we can get him. Like I say, it doesn't look like a rainbow trout. So I think we might have a different species here. Come on. Turn it. Oh my. Someone else has grabbed it. Is it another little perch? <laughs> <laughs> what we got this time? It is the smallest mountain white fish you can catch. <laughs> so we're not having much luck here. I'm surprised that fish didn't eat that on the way in. Oh, another big fish has just turned up. So we might get a bit of luck. Come on. Now you want it. Take the spinner bait. There's another small fish though near it. It's going down. Is he going for it or is he just going away? Come on. Come on. He's swimming towards it. I can just see a shadow of him. Come on. Silhouette. Take it, take it. Come on. Yes. Right, let's see what this is. Is it decent? It definitely isn't a rainbow trap. What is it? It is my first diamond. Let's see my achievement come up. Diamond Mountain Whitefish. I'm so happy about that. So there you go. First diamond fish on Kolawa the Angler. I'm so happy about it. I've just been fishing away, hoping to get one, um, but not really caring to be honest, just having fun. Uh, that's the new thing in my videos. I'm not going to grind myself to death now for stuff. I'm just going to enjoy myself, play, record on this footage, let you see it. Mistakes and all, but just have fun is the key. So there you go, first diamond, a diamond mountain, white fish. If you hunt for them in real life, let me know about them. Well, fish for them, I should say. Let's just show you where we are so you can come to this pond because it's very, very good. But this is the location here. I will make a video on all the best locations to go um, soon, but like I say, I'm just learning it myself. So much water to cover. Look, look how much different water there is. Some of these lakes are huge. You could walk around them for hours. Imagine you've got to check all the spots. 
to find the best hotspots. So it will take you a long while to uh, get all those. See if we can get that one as well. But yeah, it's going well. Nice to get my first trophy fish. Some of the big golds are massive, so it's nice to get a diamond. What is this? I think it's a rainbow trap. But as I said earlier, make sure you match your gear to what you're fishing for. I brought this because I didn't even know what I was sort of doing when I first started beginning. So it's a bit OP for what I'm doing. But some of the big fish, like catfish and other, there's some really big giants. Um, hook them and they'll even give this a run for the money. But on some of the lighter gear, I had some fish where they just literally tore the line off and um, I couldn't get them in. So don't think it's simple, it's just because I've got a really strong rod and reel and line on. But that's a nice trap. What else is there? You see these buoys, uh, sometimes you uh, go to those and there's missions where you have to do stuff to do with them. Right, I think it's time to move the boat, see so if we can find anything better. But yep, having lots of fun. You want me to fish for something? Drop it in the comments, let me know what you want to see, and I'll try and make it happen. I was having great fun with pike and catfish in the previous video. I need to find some big pike. I have seen some images of some big ones, but we've got to find out where they are. He's going down for it. That's the thing with this lake, because it's clear, you can see all this. On some of the other waters, because it's different, obviously, varieties. Uh, of colour variations, some lakes you can't see them uh, or you can see little indications where fish are so you have to really search so because there's all different types of water um, it doesn't differ in difficulty where you're fishing and that's the good thing about Kodawar Dang you've got a load of different areas a uh, lot of variety and lots of places to explore you want to fish in a pond like this you can fish in a pond like this you want to go to a wild river in the mountains you can do that you want to fish a small tiny pond you can do that as well there's no sort of like limitations it's up to you to just go and explore and i think that is the key best thing about this game to be honest a lot of other fishing games you've got your pegs set up go to peg number two fish from there go to peg number three fish from there here call a wild dangler you go to where you want fish from anywhere you want just roam around and discover that looks really big what is that I think it's a monster rainbow trap I have got him as well right in front of the boat but when this gear I've got him 30% uh, the drag right and when that drag goes on this then you know it's decent so that's how I've got it set up because when I know that starts giving line I know it's a really big fish <laughs> it's not really going anywhere I'm, I'm sort of holding him and he's sort of holding me you have got to watch rocks and stuff as well you can get snapped off I have been snapped off by big fish in this lake already so we've been fishing today we've got our first diamond a diamond mountain Whitefish, so happy about that. I'm Ron McTube, we've been playing Call of Wild, the Angler. Hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe to YouTube channels and thanks for watching. Bye bye.